Are you thinking of moving to Marana, Arizona? To help you out, I've put together a pros and cons list of living in Marana. Stay tuned to hear more. Hey everyone, it's Rachel Clark with Living in Tucson. If it's your first time to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because I put out new videos every week all about moving to or living in the greater Tucson, Arizona area. And as much as I love making these videos, I would love even more to help you, your friends, or family with their real estate needs. I'll leave my contact information below. You can text, call, or email me. Now let's get into the video. Let's start off with the pros. Pro number one, Marana has top rankings. Based off statistics from the US Census, Marana is ranked number 10 out of 57 of the best suburbs for young professionals to live, as well as ranking number 11 out of 57 of the best suburbs to live and buy a house. Pro number two, amazing options of activities. Marana offers so many activities for everyone, whether you're up for a fun day at Top Golf or maybe you're in the mood for one of Marana's four championship golf courses that will inspire your inner golfer to come out and play. The town of Marana has it all. You will not want to miss out on the annual family friendly events hosted by the town of Marana that take place throughout the year, including the 4th of July spectacular, cotton festival, and holiday festival and Christmas tree lighting. Pro number three, if you're looking for newer construction homes, Marana is a great place to look. Along Twin Peaks Road and North, new housing developments are popping up that invite young families, retirees, and everyone in between to get a fresh start at making memories at all price points. Don't forget to check out Gladden Farms for a great Marana community option. Plus, Marana's ideal location makes trips to downtown Tucson or Phoenix a breeze. Now let's talk about the cons. Con number one, drive time. If you're looking to get to central Tucson, the drive could take close to 40 plus minutes or so. The plus of living in Marana is that you are located relatively close to the I-10 through most areas. So there's an easy commute to wherever you're needing to get to in Tucson. Con number two, Marana has a very small town feeling. Marana is one of the smaller but growing towns within Tucson. If you're looking for more hustle and bustle, Marana might not be the best option for you. There's a very strong community base that runs deep throughout the town that many people and families love. And last, con number three, scorching hot heat. Marana's summers and along with greater Tucson area can get well into the 110s during the hottest summer months. Luckily, there's only a month or so of that out of the year. The rest of the time, it's beautiful sunshine weather and nice and chilly winters. Those hot summer months can never outweigh the beautiful months we have throughout the rest of the year. These were just a few pros and cons about Marana, Arizona. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions about Marana or Tucson, I invite you to call, email, or text me. 